Hello, hello, hello. We're walking down the street and we're talking to you. And now I feel like singing a little bit, just a little bit, down the streets of NYC. Oh, the streets of NYC. And we're singing just a little, little bit. Hey, Nemo Ash Young here. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you for indulging me as I let the artistic side of Nemo come out through. Um, just uh, happy to reconnect about some of the great things. And, well, I guess like the great thing itself is this here, right? The, the ability that we have to, to come together and to come, come and share uh, in this experience and, in, and the things that we do. Uh, Nicole and I are actually, Nicole's right here. She's just like chilling, looking at the ground. Look at that, she's looking awesome. Note the red lipstick, cause like usually I'm not like the biggest fan, but she's wearing it very, very well. Kudos to you. Um, so tonight we are off to go and see our good friends Jen and Allie uh, as they form in a blog along show. Um, and we thought this would be a great time to just kind of connect and share some of the things that are going on right now. So what am I grateful for at this moment? Uh, I hope you all can hear me. It might be kind of loud. I don't have my earphones on me today, so I apologize. Um, but I'm going to start off here. With the first and foremost, thing that I am most grateful for right now is S'mores Ben and Jerry ice cream. And I know that this is weird because B and J has made it on two times. But what happened is Nicole, in her like infinite awesomeness, somehow found S'mores Ben and Jerry's ice cream in New York City. You just can't find it anywhere. And apparently she has a source. And I don't know where that source is. I don't know how to get it. I'm pretty sure that like it's going to be an indication that I've done something really, really good the next time I see it. But um, you know, it's just it's the, the s'mores ice cream itself is like it has it means a lot to me from multiple levels. Firstly, just the fact that like only my wife is able to find this in New York City. Trust me, I've spent some time going around, not going to different delis, trying to find this ice cream here. Uh, so that's one thing that, that my wife cares that much. So thank you, Nicole. I appreciate that. You know, secondly, it is so tasty. It's so good. Toasted marshmallow, little like grand bits. Mm, yum. Uh, and thirdly, like at work, we did, um, we did a focus group where we got a chance to uh, really connect with uh, the global Afnexians and get to know like all of them from like their own personal perspective and how life is for them in their various offices. And one of the questions that we asked everyone uh, was what their favorite ice cream was. And mine, of course, was S'mores Ben and & Jerry's. And I think like when I have that, it reminds me of, uh, of that experience of, of getting to know the people in my offices and getting to know the different people that I work with on a global scale. Um, and really just making sure that, you know, for my, I guess to me it just means a little bit of connectedness. It means that, you know, we're not all alone. And yes, it's extremely tasty, uh, but I think I'm, I'm happy that I have that other moment. And I, that, that's something that, you know, no matter what happens in life, I'm always going to be grateful for the time that uh, we took to get to know everyone because it's still one of those things that is just like fueling and making, making some great things uh, happen from there. You know, I did get a very important question that I'm going to answer really quickly. The question was, did I already eat the s'mores ice cream? And the answer is, yes. Yes, I ate s'mores ice cream. Actually, I didn't eat it all. Nicole shared it with me. So, you know, I ate half of it, and it was awesome. It was like um, Bachelor in Paradise when, uh, when what's his name, Josh? Josh has the pizza. All you're like, you're just like, mmm, this is good. Mmm, really tasty. So, all right, cool. So, thanks for that, Dan. I appreciate it. Yes, the, the, the s'mores is gone. I'm not sharing. The only one I share with is Nicole, and that's because she got it for me. All right, so the second thing that I'm grateful for today. Yeah, I'm only on this second, my love. Um, the second thing that I'm grateful for. Um, well, let me take some time to think about it. 
<laughs> no, I think that's actually pretty good. I think I think that is a, a, a truth of the matter here. Like, I'm grateful. I was actually thinking about this earlier today, actually, while I was, while I was meditating. And, oh, you're going to hear some weird sounds, by the way. I apologize. Um, but I'm grateful for singing. And, I, and I'm grateful for it at a very specific time. It's um, when I was in college getting ready to become uh, a freshman at college. And I went to this thing called pre-orientation service trips, post. And during post, we had the opportunity to uh, do community service around the Ithaca area. Uh, and while we were doing community service, at the end of it, um, we got a chance to hear a singing group come out and sing. And that singing group was Last Call, uh, which is the group that I eventually ended up joining uh, and was pretty much the precursor to me being able to continue singing here in uh, New York City. And I was thinking about that. Oh. And I think the, uh, that person, whoever honks the longest, wins. So I think, oh, someone just got last honking. So I think, I think that person actually wins it all. But, uh, you know, there is a, there is a singing group. And um, that experience of going down the post and hearing them kind of like set me on this like new journey, this journey of music, this journey of, uh, of, keep, of building my networks and continuing to, to make it happen. Friendship and love, Darren. Friendship and love. To the end, love to the end. And it's kind of weird because I'm singing it alone, but it sounds awesome with other voices with me. And you know, the weirdest part about all that is that that thing that we did right there was something that we shared in uh, Last Call together, and we had a lot of fun, and people were building and making all these different chords come from it. But, like, it ends up that, that that's a barbershop tag. Can you see the, like, like the connection in life? It's just like... <clears throat> connection all the way through um so i'm very grateful for singing but most specifically the pre-orientation service trips and the specific moment on that thursday where we uh we had a barbecue and last call started singing and i just got up started dancing and clapping my hands um and the last thing i think i'm going to be grateful for today are the arches the arches at cornell university because you know, that's where we got a chance to sing and share the magic of what, what we do. And, like, on December 10th this year, I had the chance to sing with Voices of Gotham at, at a, our winter show. And, you know, we, we're talking about, uh, uh, you know what, let me say this. You are all welcome to come out there. We have uh, half-price tickets right now. So, like, if you're interested, make sure you go over to voicesofgotham.org. Uh, and to get to get your tickets, it's also on Eventbrite. Um, but I think that the big thing about it all is that that experience, those singing experiences, like help me. I put it this way. I'll slow down a bit. But it helped me just like look back and say like, when are when are some of my like happiest moments? What are some of the things where when I need to get grounded or when I need to remind myself who I am or like what I can do? I go back to those moments and I just like I picture myself on stage, you know, sitting over there. Uh, hanging out in uh, in Statler Hall, and like and what it took to make that, and it's weird. I know it's like life is good now, but I'm still going back to college, right? Because life was great then too, um, and it's just it's just something that like that hits me pretty hard when I when I go back and I think about it because when I when I look for moments to be grateful for, when I when I look for anchoring times in my life keep going back to that and I think to think to that as like that was a time where I was most Nemo and as a result people got like people got a lot from it too you know they got me and, and all the great things from it so you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shy away from it I'm happy uh, it made me happy and it continues to make me happy so thank you for to to sing it thank you to all these different things that that have come up and to help make this uh, this part of my life a reality I'm now over at the pit here. You can see we're all getting ready to go and watch. I'm assuming we're all going to watch Vlogalogs because they're awesome. 
Uh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, so I'll take that there. We'll let you go off and do uh, do your thing. Um, but thank you so much for letting me share a little bit of the day with you, a little bit of the evening with you. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing this again very soon. All right. Take care. Peace out. Bye. 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 Bye.